That's just the rule. So I wrote an article I want to talk about a little bit. And this is something, um, if you're an Alaskan who has anything or any input on where this should, what, what we can do about this or what warnings or what you wish someone would have done for us. Uh, this came in yesterday when I was on the air and I, I just couldn't do it. Um, the Gulf oil spill boat captain, despondent over spill, commits suicide. William Allen Cruz, 55, a charter boat captain, recently hired by PP as a, quote, vessel of opportunity, out of Gulf Shores, Alabama, died Wednesday morning before 7.30 a.m. of a gunshot wound to his head, likely self-inflicted, according to the authorities. Um, Stan Vincent, coroner for Baldwin County, which includes Gulf Shores, had said about Mr. Cruz he had been quite despondent about the oil crisis. Cruz, who lived with his family in nearby Foley, Alabama, reported to work Wednesday morning as usual at the Gulf Shores Marina on Fort Morgan Road in Gulf Shores, Vincent said. He met up with his two deckhands at his boat. His boat was called the Rookie. One of the deckhands later told Vincent that Cruz seemed his usual self, sending them to fetch ice while he pulled the boat around to the gas pump. As the deckhands walked off to get the ice, they heard a sound like a firecracker, Vincent said. Then they turned around but didn't see anything out of the ordinary. So they proceeded to gather the ice and wait for Cruz at the pumps. He never showed, Vincent said. After waiting a while, the deckhands returned to the boat, which was moored where they had left it, and they, they went on board and found Cruz at the captain's bridge, above the wheelhouse. He'd been shot in the head. A Glock handgun was later, later recovered from the scene, and investigators do not suspect foul play. Vincent said Cruz was in good health. He did not suffer from any mil mental illness, and he was not taking any psychotropic medications. But he said it's not surprising the oil spill had weighed heavily on his mind as it has many local fishermen no longer able to support themselves with deep sea sport fishing trips like marlin and the like. All the waters are now closed. There's no charter business anymore. You got on some of the beaches now with oil you can't even get in the water. It's really crippling the tourism and fishing industry here. Vincent's office was to perform an autopsy Wednesday. The Gulf Shores Police Department is still investigating. Cruz's family was notified by Wednesday afternoon. His deckhands were sent home for the day. We'll be right back. Stop. 